Hello beta testers. Marvel's first open world RPG, Future Revolution, is shifting gears again as expected with E3 fast approaching. I literally couldn't even keep up with the villain reveals that the game's Twitter account was dumping day after day. It was like a kid showing you his action figure collection, but he kept handing them to you almost too fast for you to get a chance to look at the other one. So on screen are some of the recent villains showcased coming at launch for the players to destroy. I know everyone's biggest questions boil down to these three. Will there be waifus? Will it only be on mobile? And when will it release? Well, I'm here to answer that yes, there will be waifus. And also that the phrase you guys should start using is mobile first. Look at this clip. Right, so we want to release this game mobile first, but we carefully listening, we listening uh, our fans' voice. Yeah, and we keep listening uh, your feedback, right? But mobile first. Thank you. Yeah. And in a post Genshin world, I believe they mean that. As it pertains to release, by the end of E3, I'm pretty sure we'll all have something in the way of an answer. Danny Koo of Marvel Games tweets, Tuesday and Thursday, no posting for this week due to preparation of more awesome things to come. Well, we just got that Spider-Man trailer and Yuri Lowenthal, ya secured the Spider-Man from Insomniac Spider-Man to be your voice. Oh, well. It's good to know that you guys have a good taste. We've noticed a sexy update for your website as well, and what we must assume must be preparation for some traffic. What do you guys have lined up? I guess we'll find out. Like this video for me, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and comment what you'd like to see going forward in this game. For me, I want some, some confirmation that there will definitely be an ability to play some villains. You know, it's multiverse, so there must be universes where the, the bad guys are the good guys, and the reverse of that. But without confirmation, we can only see how things will play out at launch, and where the game grows. For those interested, I'm willing to just go through the website here with you, and just kind of lightly touch on what it says. Accessing the page, you'll see Future Evolution with a bit of uh, the characters and the villains, a bit of imagery in the background. Kind of just setting up the universe. You got some links to the Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. But if you click the play button, it will play an unlisted 26 second video that is hosted on their, on their YouTube official channel. Very good looking stuff here. Boy, they getting ready, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, rolling down here, just X that out. We got this uh, backdrop. Earlier, I ripped this from uh, the background, and I guess I can tweet that with this video. It'll be in the description. So on my Twitter page, you have the JPEG that is in the back behind the subscribe to newsletter option here. Going down, we have a game overview. Um, picture, of a, a picture of Avengers Tower back there. You know, the balls are touching. <laughs> Those are planets. When worlds collide, you know what I mean? Oh my god, we got Star-Lord over here. At the start of Convergence, multiple dimensions began collapsing into one another. Oh man, great text on a white background, guys, I love you. Different Earths threatening to collide and destroy themselves. Many dimensions fell. Some survived. Ooh, look at Vision all rigged up. By the hand of the Vision whose core helped create the first Convergence engine. Seems that Vision seems integral to perhaps being able to go from one dimension to another, but that's just uh, conjecture. Can only assume. Oh, we got a characters thing here. Got Captain Marvel, Storm, ooh, Lord. Star-Lord, Black Widow. Talk to Strange, baby, it's been far too long. Captain America, Iron Man, and Spider-Man. Come on, man. Lowenthal. Ooh, that's gonna be nuts. I, I kinda need to click. 
Ooh, we got we got little bios here. Formerly renowned surgeon, Dr. Stephen Strange became Earth's Sorcerer Supreme after delving into the world of the mystical arts. Now, Dr. Strange wields all manner of arcane spells and mystical artifacts to defend the realms. I'm only going to do my three favorite characters, so in your face. You guys can come out here and I won't spoil it if you want to, you know, take a look at some other things. We got Spider-Man over here. After being bitten by a radioactive spider, Peter Parker gained amazing arachnid abilities. After the loss of his uncle, he vowed to use his superhuman strength and agility to protect people as Spider-Man. Don't forget the hyphen, you know? I learned that because of Insomniac's game. I wouldn't have known it without you. So who's my other favorite of Spider-Man Doctor Strange? Well, of course, it's Aurora Monroe. Aurora Monroe is not only a descendant of an ancient line of African priestesses, but also an Omega level mutant. Say it again. Tell him again. As a veteran X-Men member, Storm manipulates elemental forces of weather to decimate any that stand against mutant kind. Ooh, she protecting her own tonight. Listen, I can't tell you how excited I am to see what X-Men villains are coming, what other X-Men are coming, and they don't need to even show up anytime soon. Can I get an MPC? You know what I mean? Can I just walk down the halls of the X-Mansion? Oh, is that, is that Shadow Cat? Oh, who's the who's your little dragon there with you? You know what I mean? Oh, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Rolling down this page, we got features. Ooh, I'm gonna need that picture. You know, probably when you're watching this, I'll have already made it like a little backdrop. Okay. How many of us can play simultaneously co-op is a good question. Open World, Marvel's first open world action ARPG on mobile, discover an original story while exploring a vast open world. Well, that's the thumbnail right there, you already know. Look at that. The white with the red, and you know we're gonna be able to change the hue of everything to make everybody unique. If they're telling us there's three million unique combinations or something, you know that that means we can really change Oh, that white and red looks good. You can make a nice looking team with that. Oh, Lord. It looks good. Customization. Customize unique suits for your favorite Marvel superhero. Mix and match costumes to suit your style. Oh, yeah. A colossal clash of Marvel heroes and villains. Look at that picture. Look at that fury. Exhilarating action packed gameplay. Control each superhero's superpowers. Defeat villains with cinematic combat actions. Well, all right, all right, all right. Amazing real-time co-op content. Work with your friends to defeat iconic villains. Experience an array of game modes, including Omega War and Dark Zone. We can only assume that as we roll into the future here, in the next couple of days, we're gonna get some insight into what those modes are and what's going on. Towards the bottom of the website page, you just have links to the Facebook, to the YouTube, where you can see all of the previous things that they have recently posted. Remember this uh, tweet with the the hub that we were appearing to look at. Oh yeah. So, I'm excited, but we're still playing the waiting game, man. <laughs> oh boy. Love you. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you soon. And in time, maybe even in game. Take it easy.